Hi, I'm Storm, and this is how I design stickers in Adobe Express. With Photoshop, what I want to do is start tweaking the image. We're actually going to go to some of the filters. There are filters here where you can add blurs. You could smooth the skin out if I slide that up here. I'm going to actually use the healing brush tool because I'm not sure if you can see, but the, the makeup artist got some uh, lipstick on my teeth. The healing brush tool, which is shortcut J. Hold down the Alt key and that's where you select your reference point. And then from there, you can kind of paint over choosing from that reference point. There are two ways you can do this into Express. You can either upload the PSD itself or you can export it out as something and then upload the image, which is what I'm going to do. Okay, so back in Express, we're gonna go with a square template, go to media and upload from device. I want to make this even more cheesy by giving myself <laughs> heart eyes in a heart mask. This is gonna be our base for our sticker. So from here, we can start adding some elements. The great thing about this is everything is just kind of click and drag, click and drag. We could add some text, actually. You can go to background color and you can do this and that removes the background. And then when you export it as a PNG, then it's ready to be used as a sticker. So Good we're starting with another image <laughs> here. Yeah. We're going to duplicate this layer. Click on remove background. I'm going to add some text here. What should I write? Summer Bay. If I move this behind me now, so we've got something like that where you've got the text just hiding behind no an nice. element in the foreground. Once I've got the text selected, I scroll down to text effects. I don't know, ice cream. Oh, yeah, it's looking good. That's not bad. So there you go. We're going to go into another sticker now. We're going to go back again and do a very similar thing. We're going to crop it. We're going to duplicate it. Same thing again. We're going to add a new text layer. You have got like recommended fonts up here as well, which is always really nice. And if you have found something that you like, if you hit on the symbol here, you can select to have more that are in that sort of style. And then we drag that behind. You can kind of see where the mask is a little bit harsh. You do have this erase option here, which I can just kind of tidy up the areas that I want more mm. visible. The shapes itself, you can add borders to the border thickness uh, and the style as well. So you can actually do quite a lot with mm. the shapes itself. I almost want to add a stamp because it feels it's giving me like postcard vibes almost. If you can think it and you can type it, there's a good chance you can find it, providing it exists in the library already. Like we've got this little stamp here. You can group things. So if you did need to just move the whole thing, if you click and drag, it gives you the option for the mixed media that you've got there to just group it. If we have a look here, we can actually see some of the presets, which uh, turns these stickers into animated GIFs. You've got uh, the breathe, you've got flicker, you've got pulse. From here, you can see the duration, you can extend it. Here's another fun image. All right, so let's add some characters to be sticking out of the back of this. And then we'll crop that as well. Shapes. I just add more flowers and a border, and I'm quite happy with this one. Where I've got the background color removed here, if you go up to download, it gives you um, different file formats that you can use. Transparent mm. PNG is the one that you'll want to use, but then you can save it onto your phone and then just upload it. We've used a combination of masks, Adobe stock assets and AI generated font and combine them together to make some fun stickers. Until next time, my friends, we'll see you very soon. Stay safe and uh, ciao.